Hi everyone, I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from the Seeds of the Word community and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us this Saturday, May 28th. First reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 18, verses 23 to 28. After spending some time at Antioch, Paul departed and went from place to place through the region of Galatia and Phrygia and Phrygia, strengthening all the disciples. Now there came to Ephesus a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria. He was an eloquent man, well versed in the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and he spoke with burning enthusiasm and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue. But when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained the way of God to him more accurately. And when he wished to cross over to Achaia, the believers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to welcome him. On his arrival, he greatly helped those who through grace had become believers, for he powerfully refuted the Jews in public, public showing by the scriptures that the Messiah is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here today, after spending some time in Antioch, Paul departed from there. In the Acts of the Apostles, we see Paul going from community to community. We hear, we read in his letters how he was writing to different communities. But in the Acts of the Apostles, we see his, his trips. We see how he was traveling around the Christian community. So after spending some time in Antioch, he left. And he was going from place to place proclaiming the word of God. And also, there is a new person, a new character who appears here, Apollos. Apollo, a man native from Alexandria, a pagan man, but heard about the way of God, heard about our Lord Jesus Christ, converted and became a believer. And how now Apollo was also preaching and teaching about our Lord Jesus Christ. The Acts of the Apostles could be called in the book, the Acts of the Holy Spirit. How the Holy Spirit strengthened Peter and John and Paul, how he called new believers, how he strengthened Christian communities, how he strengthened people to go around the world and proclaim the good news. Tomorrow is the ascension of the Lord, is the Sunday of the ascension of the Lord. After his ascension, the Lord says, be gathered together, be united, because I am going to send you my spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one that we receive. And that then afterwards, we are full of power to go and proclaim Jesus Christ. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit in our lives today. Let's open our hearts to receive him, to be like Paul and Apollo and so many other disciples of the Lord who, after being converted, after receiving the light of Christ, was able to go through all the earth proclaiming our Lord, proclaiming His name. Responsorial Psalm today, Psalm 47 says, Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord the Most High is awesome, a great King over all the earth. For God is the King of all the earth, Sing praise with a psalm. God is king over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the peoples gather as the people of God, of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. He is highly exalted. The Lord is our God. And by singing praises to him, singing with loud voice, we proclaim his glory. We proclaim that he is God of our lives. 
and the Gospel from St. John, chapter 16, verses 23 to 28, today says, When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, he said to the disciples, Very truly, I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but will tell you plainly of the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I, that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world and I am going to the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And this day that precedes the ascension of the Lord that we'll be celebrating tomorrow, we hear Jesus saying, I'm leaving the world and going to the Father. Yes, in the context here, he was saying this before his passion, his crucifixion, his death, and his resurrection. But applying to us today, we can, and, and living in this liturgical feast that we will celebrate tomorrow, we can see that Jesus is saying, I'm going to the Father again after my resurrection, after the Sunday of my resurrection. I'm ascending to the Father, but I will not leave you alone. I'm going to my Father. And by being with my Father, I will be of greater help for you than by being here on earth. Jesus says that we, that the disciples here, they have not asked for anything under his name yet because he was there with them. But as soon as he was going to be with the Father, they could ask for whatever they wanted in his name. And he says, I'm not going to say that I will be interceding for you before the Father because the Father loves you. But what I'm saying is, I'll be there. I'll be there for you. I'll be there with the Father, within the Father to give you what you ask. Do we have this conscience that we can ask whatever we want and that our Father in heaven will give it to us if it is good for our salvation? Sometimes we don't understand the gospel of our Lord when he says, ask and it will be given to you. And we can say, oh, but I keep asking and I don't receive what I ask for. We will only receive what we ask for if what we are asking is good for our salvation. And many times what we are asking is actually good for our salvation, but not exactly in the way we think it is. Jesus was here on earth and Jesus is in heaven to help us to grow in believing in the Father, to go in trust, to trust in the Lord, to trust in the Father, to trust that he knows what, what is better for us, but we should keep asking that He will give us the desire of our hearts, but in the way that will be good for our salvation. Amen.